Hello, my name is Sandcrawler and this is my Let's Play. And in this episode we're going to be building a bridge. So, let's go ahead and I'll show you what I finished after the last episode. Down here for the smelting machine. I had to change it quite a bit actually, but it's all working now. And then I'll show you this, because we're going to need some of that stuff. Okay, so in here, if you remember, I had the trains going back and forth. Still the same basic thing, except that they're on a timer delay now, so they will sit under here for a couple seconds, and then they'll go again. I haven't actually made a way to shut them off yet, but I want to. So then if you put stuff in this chest, uh, let's see, we can smelt some cobblestone. So then you have to wait a little bit, but eventually it'll start popping into these. There it goes. So yeah, so it'll spread it out because it'll grab up to nine at a time. So it can put a piece of cobblestone in each one of these. I don't think they all have fuel right now. In fact, I'm pretty sure they don't. It's not an easy way to check, but... Okay, and then I have this here. Which, if we... I'm using a fortune pick because I found out after I smelted this stuff last time that it'd be better to uh, use fortune on it. So as you can see there's hoppers under here and these hoppers they all lead to this one. And so they'll all stack up here in this one as I break them. Or I can turn this on and it'll send them into here to be smelted. Which I'm not sure how much use is because uh, now that I think about it, I'm not sure that there's anything I need to smelt that I would fortune. So I might just change this back or put a chest here at the end. Yep, I didn't think about that when I made it. So anyways, we're going to need a bunch of this nether quartz. So I thought this would be a good test run of this. Which it should work fine, because there's nothing complicated about it. So in this episode we're going to be building a bridge with nether quartz, if you haven't guessed already. So. The bridge is based on one that's from my hometown, called the Sundial Bridge. Yeah, you can look it up on the internet. It's, it's a pretty well known bridge. I don't particularly care for it. But yeah, it's made by some guy who they paid a bunch of money to to come over here and make a bridge and the bridge doesn't really fit in with any of the other stuff so that's why I don't care for it let's let all this stuff flow 
There we go. Unless it's getting stuck. No, I think it's going. We'll just help it out a little bit. Because that would be the thing, is this would be pretty slow when you get a bunch of items in there. I have more, but I don't want to take the time to break it right now. If I had a chest here, I'd just throw it over here. We'll just throw it in this one. So what we need is these blocks, which I believe you make like this. Yep. Not that this is anywhere near enough. Okay, so I want to grab a workbench and then I will show you where we're going to build this bridge at. I've been planning this bridge for a long time, probably since I started this place. So yeah, if we can avoid mobs, this will work out better. I should have just gone up there and slept, but oh well. So I have this path going through here, which I've gotten this, I enlarged this area, the Ace of Spades Monument, so that it covers this hill now, and it goes to the edge of the snow biome here. So anywhere it starts the snow, it stops right before. So yeah, it's quite a bit bigger now. I like how it looks and it goes all the way down to the water and then just goes along the edge. I think it's cool. But right over there is Zafian's old place that he's been working on recently. At my insistence. I kept telling him he should finish his projects. So we need some of these. Ah. Well, we use Creeper Hill, so. This is why I shouldn't be trying to do this at night. It's like one mob right after another. So let's just speed this up since I want my workbench back. Now I want you to be able to I want it to look like a boat could go under this bridge so we're gonna go up a little bit anyways and it is going straight across This is the height that I want. Because I don't want mobs to spawn on it. So we're gonna. The bridge needs to be wider like this. And not fall off.
Now the Sundial Bridge. It gets its name because it has a big tower thing that is a sundial. But that's not really the signature of it. We'll probably add that, but it probably won't be this episode. Because I don't think I have enough quartz. So. But to me, what gives it its signature is that it has this glass that you can walk on top of and look through. And it's not perfectly clear, but since we don't have colored glass, we're going to have whatever we got. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and see. We'll probably just enlarge this. Unless we just bring it in more. We can mess with that after or later. So I should just go get glass, but I'm not going to. I think for imagine those that nether rack is glass. I'm not sure I like the idea of it sticking up like this, but I don't know what else to do about it. Because I'd rather mobs not be able to spawn on it. out of crap blocks. Okay, so I'm going to go grab some glass so we can just do this right the first time and then I'll be back. Okay, I got some glass and I'm just about back there. Yeah, on the castle project, I've started flattening out an area for it, and we'll be starting on that pretty soon on video. I don't, I'm just laying down the floor and doing some simple proof of concept kind of stuff. And there we go, under the water again. I almost wonder about sinking the glass instead of doing it up if I did it so that you dip down. I think that would be better. So now that I just climbed up, I'm going to jump back in the water. And then I'm probably going to put lights down here too, so I think this will work better and look nicer from the top too. I forgot they stopped. Oh, that's the wrong pickaxe. They stopped your pickaxe and tools from working on blocks that it shouldn't. So like this doesn't count as an efficiency pickaxe on glass because the pickaxe is not the tool for glass. 
but it actually makes it easier to use the pickaxe now because you don't mow through the glass. Now the question is how best to put the stuff in here. So what I think I'll do at this end, and I just lost count, is I will just make it so that I have the right number of, so like I could either end it here and have a down slope or go out to here, which I think I'll go out to here. So it'll be like this. And then it'll start going down. And I don't know if he's ever going to build a path out here or what, but mine is. His zombie spawner is right down here. Zombie trap. I don't even know if it still works actually and I'd have to find it again. Yeah, it's right here. With the stir-free door. Yeah, if you wait here long enough, they'll make a circle around. I think it still works. There's no redstone in those traps, so I don't see why it would be broken. So then let's just do this for this side. Oops. That'll work. through here and take out the nether rack. I'll probably put a piece of glowstone right here. I don't think I want to try and wire it up to a day night sensor. I think it'll just make it too big, too thick. I probably should have went up one more so that you could fit a boat under. But I think you can right now anyways, a minecraft boat anyways. Well, I think I've talked about this before, but when I go and build like this I don't really start with a plan like I don't make a mock-up or anything this is what I'm building first time I've seen it too so I don't have a demo world where I have everything planned out Yeah, I think I like it down more. I'd like to have a glass half slab, but it seems like that's not going to happen. Although I think it should, I think we should have glass steps too.
I'm not sure what I'm going to do down here yet. Like I have something in mind, but I'm not sure how it'll look. In here, I thought I was out of slabs. But if we have time, we will start on the tower. Cause it's something that I want to add to this bridge. It'll be out of quartz too. That's why I doubt I'll have enough quartz. Yep. Yep, sometimes that'll work. I guess not today. Yeah. Oh well. Not very good with those. I don't use them enough. Yeah, I think the tower will tie this whole build together. Because it'll add a support structure to it. Because it has wires coming down to help support the bridge. I'm not sure where I'm going to connect them. On the actual bridge, it connects in the middle, and I don't really like that look. So let's take out these. And what I was thinking is just doing something really simple here on the edges. So I don't have enough dirt, but something like that where it just kind of leads up into it. And then we're going to do a handrail. I kind of want it up one more. Yeah, I think that's, the, I think that'll work. And I think those wires are going to connect to either like a, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Let's make our blocks into some more half slabs. I should make this all come in another four. It's like it's, it's almost too far. But I think that's what we're going to have to do. If I quit breaking the bridge. I think it'll look better to have this over land, the end over land, than mostly over water.
And I might have to remove some of this mountain here. But yeah, I think that'll do for there. No, we'll just come back here and extend our rail out some more. So yeah, the storage castle has become more of a warehouse than a castle at this point. So I think I'm going to be calling it the ice warehouse from now on. Because that's that's its purpose is to store stuff in so it doesn't make sense to make it a castle really okay so yeah I'm gonna go get some more quartz break what I have and then or we can grab some lights first or actually I'll just grab all of that and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I have some glowstone and I have some more quartz slabs. So I had enough for two and a half stacks, give or take a couple. So that should be enough to finish up the rails, anyways. We're not gonna start on the tower after all because I don't have enough quartz. And that's going to take some fiddling. I might just do that off camera because I don't really want to give this bridge more than one episode. So next time I want to get started on the ice warehouse. So I think here we're going to do something like this. No, I don't like that. Not that. Yeah, I think something like that will work. Or even bring it back one farther. I think this is best. Then we'll do the same thing down here. I feel like it needs something else. I think I need a fence post. Like another another brick fence post. because it's nice and dark so I think that'll contrast with the quartz in a nice way
find the nether stuff chest. Oh, I guess I don't have any ender pearls. I was gonna just toss one. I'm sure I have some around somewhere. Every time you go to the end, you get a whole bunch of them. Which, our end down here is kind of weird. I think it's a bucket update that's broken it. When you go through the end portal, it doesn't actually take you into the end, but you just fall through. I think maybe that. I think every other one is music. It seems loud to me, so I'm sorry if it's not. I don't like the in game music much. It's funny we haven't heard any the whole time in this recording and now we do. So I think I want to skip one and so like here I want to put one. Which I guess I have to swim the whole time for that which is annoying and I know it's annoying to watch someone bob up and down in the water not be able to place blocks in the correct places. So then we'll skip this one and go to this one. Then while we're down here, we should just go ahead and place our glowstone. Just gonna go right here. I think, anyways. So we'll skip that one. Go to here, I think. Yep. And I'm gonna run out of these things. Looks like I only need six more or something. So what we might do is uh, do the tower on camera, but I'm going to wait a couple episodes. I'm going to work on the warehouse some first. But I think the bridge looks okay, as it is. So yeah, this is... I'm removing these blocks, thanks. So yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we're going to go ahead and in the episode here and since I went on the wrong side of the bridge I'm going to go over here and give you a view of this side there you go whole view of the place thanks for watching see you next time okay.